What's up guys, Sign Dude here bringing you my first 4th gen Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one is against Lonely Tiger Straight Stray Tiger is his name and Pokemon is his game. So um Yeah, let's get this battle opened. So he has a sand team with Azelf and Slowbro without regenerator because it doesn't get regenerator. And I've just got, you know, standard bull crappy team. So I'm going to lead off with my Metal Gear Solid, and for whatever reason, every time I've recorded this, it freezes here. The Pokeball, like, doesn't open or whatever. But I'm going to lead off with Solid, and he's going to lead off with his Elf, and then I have to get my mouse off the thing. He's going to go for a U-turn, and I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks here, because Stealth Rocks is always number one prioritizer. <laughs> so he's going to go into Gliscor, because, you know, he's got Earthquake. And I know that if he does Earthquake, I won't be affected by it. And if he Ice Fangs predicting this after Intimidate, it's not going to do anything. So he's going to get up his Stealth Rocks. And I'm going to go for Dragon Dance here on the Switch. Because I know that after minus one, there's nothing really he could do to me. And I'm going to taunt the Walmart, the um, Bronzong. Because I think that he'll either like Trick Room, Thunder Wave, Toxic... Any of those stupid moves. So now I'm gonna waterfall. Plus one waterfall doesn't even kill this stupid thing. And somehow an explosion from him kills me, which doesn't make any sense. Maybe he's like physical bronzong adamant or something, but I don't see in what world that would have ever killed me. So he's gonna go into this big blue, and I'm going to go into my levy on the double down bees. I'm scarfed, so that means I'll probably be able to outspeed. Pretty much anything. I'll be able to get the U-turn initiative there. So I think he predicts the dragon type move and it goes into his Registeel. And honestly, I wasn't going for damage. I was going for initiative. And I'm going to go into my never used poke because, you know, he trained his garbage. He even fails in NFA. I mean, I could stick him in a little cup at level 100 and he would still get his ass whooped. So my never used poke is going to go for the... Um, the Lava Plume, no, not the Lava Plume, the Taunt, and he's going to go into his, um, his Tyranitar, and I'm going to get Leftovers, and he's going to go for Focus Punch, which is like, what? Once I thought he was focusing, and then I switched, I'm like, oh, crap. But, you know, I am really, really bulky, considering I have Metagross, but he gets a crit, which is just, uh, this crit really mattered for something, too, because... Um, if he didn't crit me, I would have been able to kill him off, because I would have gotten the Meteor Mash off here. He would have probably Paybacked or something, which doesn't have as much power as Focus Punch, which I probably would have lived it then, and then I would just be able to Bullet Punch here, considering there was no way of me missing. But it's fine now, because now I can actually get the Rabbit Spin off and kill something. Two birds, one stone. Two hoes, one Stealth Rock. I don't know. And I'm going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm, and he's going to go into his elf, and I think that he's going to U-turn or go for, like, Thunderbolt, Psychic, um, anything, I don't know. And I don't honestly know why he went for Ice Punch. I don't know what logical reasoning he would have behind me thinking that I would go into either my Fly... Well, Flygon, yeah. Okay, never mind then. This is my fourth time watching this battle, and I still didn't get it, but now I see it, because you probably predict... He thought I would predict the electric move and go to Flygon and take a... Probably die from an Ice Punch. And I would have lost the game from that. So, I'm going to protect to catch up here from what I was saying. And he's going to go for Surf. And I'm like, wow. Remember when people used to use Surf instead of Scald? But now Scald got introduced. And no one ever uses it. And he's going to go for Surf. And again, I don't know why he would do that. Wouldn't he predict a switch of some sort? Because I'm pretty sure a Psychic would have done... Quite a bit of damage to me. I might have actually even died after Sandstorm. But no, he doesn't do that. And for whatever reason, he switches now, which I think was kind of stupid. He could have probably just stayed in and done something. I don't know what. Psychic, Ice Beam, don't know what. But I do actually set up Bleach Seed here. And because Leftovers negate Sandstorm or vice versa or whatever, they cancel each other out. But now I have Bleach Seed, so now I could keep regaining my health. 
And I'm going to go for the Hidden Power here, thinking that he he might predict me to go for Earth Power and go into his Azelf, but either way, I'll at least get super effective damage on this thing if he doesn't go into it. But he doesn't switch, which surprises me, and then he goes for Ice Punch, which tells me that he's probably going to go onto the offensive with this Registeel to take out my Shaman. So, after Elite Seed, I think that I can live another one, as like I'm going to get the Elite Seed back right now. And it looks like I could live another one, maybe even two more, I don't know. But I am going to go for the Earth Power now, and it doesn't kill, which I'm pretty surprised by, but also not. He's going to go for Zap Cannon, which hits, which is just, wow. And I get paralyzed by it, which is um, a guaranteed thing with, um, with Zap Cannon, so it's fine. And it didn't do all that much, and I'm actually, I, I, um, he should have really Ice Punched. That would have done a ton more. But now he knows that I have to switch to get this Paralyze off of me, and he's going to switch just to get the Leech Seed off of him. I'm going to go into Heatran, and he's going to go into a Gliscor, which has been pestering me this entire game. And he switches out, which made no sense, because, well, he's got Earthquake, my major weakness. But knowing that he's going to probably switch, I'm going to switch, and I could probably take, um, well, he's probably going to Earthquake my Heatran. But no, it's not what he does. He actually does an earthquake. He switches out into his own poke, and a U-turn from this thing doesn't kill, which kind of sucks. And now he's going to U-turn, and I'm going to U-turn into my Heatran. He's going to U-turn. I make it sound like we both U-turn twice, but he's going to U-turn and go into his Gliscor. So his Gliscor is going to get leftovers, and I'm going to get leftovers because we both have apples in our pockets. He sure doesn't even have hands. What's going on here? Anyway, I predict an earthquake again, and he doesn't actually do that. So I was kind of surprised at this point and the decisions he was making. For whatever reason, he goes into his elf, probably forgetting about stealth rocks, but honestly, he doesn't even carry a spinner. So that was kind of a useless play. So now I've taken so many takes at this, and I keep messing up. <laughs> now I gotta. Now my throat burns, but whatever. So I'm going to U-turn, and I'm going to hit the glide score, and it's not going to do anything because of, wow, um, four times resistant and massive physical bulk. But anyway, he's going to go for Screech, which makes no sense to me whatsoever, because he's in sand, so that probably means he has Sand Veil. So honestly, I don't see what the point would be, because now I could just switch and remove this, but if he were to Swords Dance instead... If it even gets Swords Dance this gen, this might be me just being a noob to 4th gen. It would have just been better, but I know that now, he, if he's not going for it, he doesn't have the Ice Fang. So I'm safe to go into my Levy, my um, Flygon, and just, you know, outrage everything. So I'm actually gonna, going to be able to do quite a bit of damage now with Outrage, and after using Flygon quite a bit in um, UU, in... Um, in 5th gen, and now I've used it in my only battle in 4th gen that was actually competitive. I can actually see that it doesn't have much attack power, but when you use a strong move, as long as it's stab, so earthquake or outrage, it could hit pretty hard, and it's really just a late game sweeper with a scarf. Honestly, I don't think it's a great revenge killer. And it definitely needs hazard support. So I'm going to be able to kill everything on this team pretty much with an outrage. I think I get the three turn outrage, so, um, not really that big of a difference. And he's gonna go into Slowbro, and I'm gonna hit myself in confusion, which kind of sucks, but you know, I wouldn't wanna switch into anything and then possibly get like critted and have this whole big commotion, but for whatever reason, he goes for Psychic, which honestly was pretty stupid. He should have just slack offed, but that's not what he did at all. Because honestly, I don't know what he would have been able to do, but. I think that a slack off might have been just a smarter play, even though the game is pretty much won. But, um, yeah. So that's the end of that. And I honestly think that this was probably a really, really good match, considering it's my first one ever in Fort Gen, actually competitive. Like, for those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, I had, like, that haunch crow sweep and all that. This is my first actually competitive match. For gen battle. So now I'm going to try to crop this successfully because I keep losing the footage 
because I keep messing it up and it's not letting me undo and uh grr. So yeah. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give a thumbs up and tell me, do you want to see fourth or fifth gen or whatever? Maybe even third gen if I could figure that out with like Hamachi and all that bull crap. Um, just an FYI, this battle was against Stray Tiger, if I haven't mentioned already. He said it would be okay if I uploaded. He was actually not one of those annoying people that, like, all, um, against me uploading. No, he was actually okay with it. <clears throat> so, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.